Hi there. The following video will introduce for us three more uh, rules and formalise three more rules with index notation. Firstly, I'd like you to consider a base number, say a, to the power of m, divided by the same thing, a to the power of m. Well, anything divided by itself just gives you 1. But using the division rule with indices, we know that a to the power of m divided by a to the power of m must be equal to a to the power of m minus m, i.e. a to the power of 0. We've just said this whole thing is equal to 1. So therefore, a to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Any number to the power of 0 always gives you the answer 1. So let's use this in a few examples. This is rule 3, the power of the 0 rule. Any number to the power of 0 equals 1. So 2 to the power of 0 must be equal to 1. A million to the power of 0, doesn't matter how big the base number is, because it's to the power of 0, that's equal to 1. 7 to the 5 divided by 7 to the 5 is equal to 7 to the 5 subtract 5, which is 7 to the 0, and we know that's equal to 1. P to the 5 divided by P to the 5, well that must be equal to P to the 5 minus 5, or P to the 0, and again that's equal to 1. Now I wanted to quickly formalise a rule we already know, the power of 1 rule. A base number to the power of 1 is just equal to the base number. For example, 2 to the power of 1 is just equal to 2. 17,143 to the power of 1 is just equal to 17,143. 7 to the 5 divided by 7 to the 4, well that must be equal to 7 to the 5 subtract 4, which is 1, and 7 to the 1 is just 7. p to the 5 over p to the 4, well that means p to the 5 divided by p to the 4, so that's equal to p to the 5 minus 4, or 1 p to the power of 1 is just equal to p. OK, I'm going to move on and keep going here. I want to explain one more rule for you. Imagine I showed you 3 squared all to the power of 5. Well, firstly, what does 3 squared mean? It means 3 multiplied by 3 all to the power of 5. Now, because we've got brackets around the 3 multiplied by 3, this is our base, 3 multiplied by 3. We're going to multiply this whole thing by itself five times. So we're going to get 3 multiplied by 3, 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 multiplied by 3. Well, the brackets are not really important here in the product that we've got. How many 3s have we got multiplied by themselves? 1, 2, 3, 4. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So this is equal, on, on another hand, to 3 to the power of 10. How did I get from 3 squared all to the power of 5 to 3 to the 10? Well, you can see, basically, I'm multiplying the indices. So any number to the power of n, say, all of that raised to a different power of m is equal to the number to the power of n multiplied by m. OK, and I've got this rule on the next slide. Here is the rule. a to the power of n all to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n multiplied by m. Let's do a few examples. 2 squared all to the power of 5 is simply therefore equal to 2 to the 2 times 5, or 10. 3 to the power of 5 all to the power of 6 is equal to 3 to the power of 5 times 6, which is 30. 7 to the power of 5, all to the power of 0 0.2, is equal to 7 to the power of 5 times 0 0.2, which is equal to 7 to the power of 1, or 7. And lastly, 7 to the power of 14, all to the power of half. Well, that must be equal to 7 to the power of 14 multiplied by half, which is 7 to the power of, well, 14 multiplied by half is simply 7. And hence, we have answered and put in, exponent, put in index form all the following examples very easily. Thank you for your time.